this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue with reading Psalm. Uh, I finished Psalm 73 in previous two videos. I'm going to move on to Psalm 74. Um, it is also a little, uh, it's relatively longer than I expect, I mean, than the average. So I'm probably going to break down into two videos. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to read it, uh, Psalm 74. A muscular of a self. Why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smolder against the, sleep, the sheep of your uh, pasture? Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins, all this destruction the enemy has brought on the secondary. Secondary, your foes rolled in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. They smashed all the carved paneling with their axes and hatches. They burned your secondary to the ground. They defile the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. We are given to miraculous signs. No prophets are left. And none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, O God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your, ar your garment and destroy them. So this is Psalm 74, the first part. Um, again, the, I think it's, uh, it's uh, kind of the, the tone of the first part is quite uh, uh, distress and anguish. Something's bad happening. Uh, again, we do not know the circumstances and when and who is this Asaf, either music people or prophet or religious advisor in the court or just uh, a, uh, a political uh, uh, official in the court uh, or whom he served, probably David or uh, I, I probably can find it, but if you're interested, you can find it. But anyway, the, uh, since his psalm, uh, there are a lot of psalms about this uh, psalm in, in the book of psalms. So probably he is uh, one of the, the writer, musician, um, uh, or he's uh, religious people. But uh, anyway, regardless who he is, regardless what the circumstances, regardless when he wrote this, but the tone was very anguish, uh, agony, and uh, moaning and. Uh, uh, we can sense the situation is very bad. So why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? This is a very uh, strong term. Um, um, means the God is not with them. It's reject them forever and smolder against the sheep of your pasture. So the uh, the anger is just uh, burning against uh, their their chosen sheep uh, of the pasture. Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. So re you remember the covenant, uh, the purchase, the tablets, the commandments, and uh, uh, the tribe of your inheritance, supposed to inherit your uh, the tribe is supposed to inherit your uh, uh, your graciousness, who you redeemed, but now you're not there. You you changed. Uh, turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the secondary. So if you can, if you walk this way, you can see uh, the ruins and destructions by the enemy brought to the secondary, which is the holy place um, of where God dwelled, dwelt. 
Your foes rode in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through the thickets of trees. They smashed all the carved panel, paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled the dwelling place of your name. So this is about the the situation. How bad the enemy, the the enemy already took took over the secondary, burned the, um, the trees and cut the trees and burned the uh, the secondary, uh, secondary and also, um, smashed the panels uh, and, uh, defiled the dwelling place of your name. So everything about uh, the God, the God they believe. The holy place, along with the forest, the trees, and the buildings, the sanctuary places, the mountains, the ground, everything is gone. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. So they really uh, destroyed, it's not just the people you bought or the people you redeemed, but also you. Um, so they uh, burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. So that means a God is not, their God is not allowed to be worshipped because they burned everything. We are given no miraculous signs and no prophets are left and none of us know how long this will be. So we lost the prophecy, we lost the prophet, uh, we cannot see any signs of prophecy and also uh, and we do not know how long this kind of situation will last. How long will the enemy mock you, O oh God? So the enemy mocking the people, but uh, not just mocking the people, but mocking the God they believe. Will the foe revile your name forever? So uh, the enemy will continuously to uh, destroy your name forever. Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. So why you put your hand in your pocket or cross your arms and not use your power to destroy it? So now I ask you to please do not hold back your hand. Do not put your hand in the fold of your garment, which means I think that's what usually the, the old people like to put the hands in the sleeves or the folded of the sleeves or in the pocket, nowadays in the pocket, which means I'm just going to uh, stand here to watch. So then he asked God, please do not just stand there and watch. Uh, take your hand out, especially your right hand, and to destroy the enemies, to save the people you chose. So this is about uh, the first part of uh, Psalm 74. And uh, again, we see the real from this, like the situation is really bad. Uh, we see the suffer, the agony from the heart and the, the uh, desperate ask for, and also we see the really uh, destroyed, uh, the secondary, the the holy mountain, the holy place, and uh, along with the God they believe, so they call you loud. Do not just stand there, uh, put your hands in your in the fold of your garments. Please, uh, stretch your right hand to help. So, uh, so this is the first part of Psalm seventy four. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to continue um, uh, in next video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.